Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> we are smiling. You can already tell from the title of this video why I am smiling. For first of all, introduction. My name is Tiffany Osahon E. Erika. That is my full name. I realize I've never said that on this channel. I always say Tiffany Erika. But my full name is Tiffany. That's my first name. Second name is Osahon. Yes, I am from Nigeria and I am from Edo State. Precisely Benin. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm from Benin. I'm from Okada village yes i think Fogada or something and my last name is e eweka yes uh yeah that's one that's that's one last name anyways anyways guys i am excited i received this check a while ago but i've just been so busy to make a video you know how hard it is for me to actually make a video like right now it's 6 15 and i'm getting ready for work in fact i'm ready for work so i told myself that i have to shoot this video for you guys because i told myself that no 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 no. today is not going to pass me by again you know i'm spending 10 minutes with you people talking to you people so first of all before we get into the video i want to just say thank you guys again for 4k subscribers we are getting there small by small and i'm going to try my best to give you guys really really good content it's not easy but i'm trying and i'm pushing and i do um plead with you people to um pardon me if i miss some days of not posting a video you know i just post these things when i can get into my creative field because sometimes it's really not easy for me but anyways we thank god so let's get into the purpose of this video <laughs> so guys your girl finally got paid Oh, look at that. Oh, can you guys see? Well, yes, your girl got paid. Google finally paid your girl after all our sweat and hustle. <laughs> oh my god, guys. So, okay, I just want to quickly talk about. Um, I, I know I have a video on requirements of what is needed to in order to start receiving money from youtube or whatsoever but i am going to for the purpose of this video i'm going to just recap on everything i must have said in that video and maybe things i left out so first of all <coughs> <coughs> so first of all in order to get this paycheck you have to be monetized and how does monetization happen right so in order to be monetized on youtube you must have at least 1000 subscribers and nothing less than 4,000 watch time hours. Yes, you heard me right. You have to have at least a thousand subscribers and nothing less than 4,000 watch time hours. That is the main criteria for you to be able to be monetized. Yes. So, as I said in my, my that video, I had already reached those hours like a long time before i even got to 1k so when i got to 1k like the next day or two days or three days later something like that i already got a message from youtube saying that oh partnership this and that so it was easy for me thereby i, I know that there are some people that have the the subscribers but they don't have the watch time you understand but um, no please i'm begging you people please subscribe don't just be watching subscribe <laughs> but anyways thank you so anyways that is not the end you know i thought that was the end of the whole process like okay you do that then you now um you now apply for monetization it's like that you know if you go to your youtube back end i'm going to try and show you guys that i don't know how i'm going to be able to show you guys that, but i'm going to try if you don't see that here i'm sorry i might link another video but i'll try and show you guys how that is done from your youtube studio exactly so you have to set it that okay like monetization like you just apply for it then later on if they, they will approve it they'll check all your videos now let me now let me come into let me let me explain something for example for example me for example i'm saying for example so many times i'm sorry sleep is still in my eyes make sure you do not have any video that has broken the copyright rule yes youtube is very very particular about copyrighted videos like whether you use someone's song or the beat or something they are very particular if the song does not belong to you don't use it you will get striked now if you get striked you will not be able to monetize from those videos so right now 
let me just say this youtubers that may have just started i don't know this do me a favor right now go to your youtube studio and go to the back end and check whether you have any restrictions check whether any of the videos have been striked if they have been striked all you do worry it's not hard it's that that process is not hard i'm going to make a video on that process so if you have that issue stay tuned to this channel and i'll show you how to take off those restrictions before you reach monetization because if you reach monetization eh if you reach that monetization threshold and that restriction is still on that video my dear my dear you're not going to be able to monetize on that video and imagine if you have that video and you had like maybe thousands of views on that video and it's not able to monetize i mean that means you have to sweat again for a long time do you understand so yeah basically you have to just um you know this type of things i did not know it was someone that told me that oh using um background songs will hurt so that's why you see some youtubers in some videos anytime we are vlogging and we hear like a song frame from behind we get so paranoid because we know that any small thing as soon as if, as if youtube just hears it for like i think it allows people for like 10 seconds or 15 seconds but please do not make that mistake do not reuse it if last last you want a beat or something there are lots of i'll link a i'll link a a youtube um a video that has like on uh, songs that are allowed on YouTube, you know, uncopyrighted songs. So I'll link that in the description box. That's why I even get my songs from. All I do is that when I screen record it from YouTube, I just lift the audio and if I want to apply and um, put it and um, attach it to my own um, video, I'll do that. So or you can even get a producer, someone that makes beats to help you, or you know, just you know, get get you know, don't don't just take someone's song because it has repercussions. So anyways, moving on. So what else do you need? So after you've done this, you need to also have a Google AdSense account. The AdSense account is like the Google Ads. Okay, someone was, someone, I think my mom asked me once to explain Google Ads to her. And this was how I explained how they work and how they pay. So I used the traditional explanation. I said, when you're watching TV, when after, there are always commercial breaks, right? You have to wait for them to finish playing before you continue your movie, right? She says yes. I said that these people make money from, like TV stations make money from when people, when they have sponsors. Like you watch, for example, BB Ninja. Now let's just say BB Ninja. When I say BB Ninja, they have their, is it PayPal or something? I don't know who endorses them. They have um, Bet Ninja. So these ads come in, that is how they're able to make their money. So Bet Ninja is able to trend. Some people that did not know Bet Ninja before already now know Bet Ninja because of that people, they are allowed to um, display their ads during their show. Do you understand what I mean? But Google works differently. I mean, YouTube kind of works the same way. You have skippable ads, you have unskippable ads, and you have the ads that come in between. So most times, those are that is how you get paid. So that's why I always say, watch our ads. So it's basically it's, it's just that easy. If you don't watch my ads, I don't get paid because Loki, Loki, they are like my sponsors. Do you understand? Google is like our sponsor because at the end of the day, everything is Google you get. So it's like the same thing. So at the end of the day, that is how it works. So if you don't watch our ads, this 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 check. It might it might be hard for us to get this particular check. Okay, okay, yes, okay. So also, um, yeah, that's basically it. So I don't know if you understood that logic. I just know, but my mom understood that logic. She understand. So you're watching TV and it goes for a commercial break. You have a, you know, whatever that comes on. That is how that person that owns that show or that TV station. That's why they're making their money because people are telling them, oh, I want to advertise on your platform. And uh here -huh. they make their money. So, but this one, we don't have a choice. This is how we're supposed to make our money. You allow Google put different ads and you have to watch it so that we make our money. So after that, uh, yes. Yeah, so going, moving forward, when you sign up for your Google Access account, there are a lot of things that you have to do. I think um, for the sake of this video, let me open my Google Access account my google adsense account real quick so that i can um show you guys how that works you know read it out for you guys so um if you're if you're using your mobile it's going to come like something like this mobile version this is the mobile version of how google adsense this is how the interface looks like i don't know if you guys can see that but this is how the interface looks like basically so all you have to do is click here and um you sign in basically if you've not signed in basically your login is basically your, your gmail whatever because everything is still google 
I said Gmail. Anyways, your Google account. So I'm already signed in. So um, what you have to do is that um, you go here. You just set. If I was not um, signing already, they would ask me to create an account. Obviously, I would create using my YouTube and um, my Google normal Google logins. That's how I'm used to get it because everything is linked together. Access YouTube, we're all like linked together. Except you want to change your password. I don't know if that's possible. So you have to also key in um, your payment method. When you talk about payment method, they ask you for your address again. Your address is so that you get this. And I want to clarify something. Money does not come into this thing. What is in this thing is called a pin. And this PIN is what enables you to get paid. It's just like a verification that yes, this account belongs to me, Tiffany, and I'm ready to receive payments. And you cannot receive this paper, this money, until you reach a certain threshold. The threshold to start receiving payments is a hundred dollars. Yes. So if you do not receive a hundred dollars, if you don't make a hundred dollars as like your what do you call it? Your estimated earnings. If you don't make a hundred dollars above, you will not receive this thing. So you have to reach that threshold, then you'll be able to start receiving money. So basically, I have I am yet to key in this special detail. It says that because I have not keyed, they said your payments are on hold because you have not verified your address. So I'm going to use this pin to verify my address. I'm going to do this probably when I get to work during my free period. I'm going to use this pin to verify my address in order for that to happen. Then also, there's also like a, something like a mode of payment. So you can either choose wire wire. That is like to link your bank accounts with this. So I have done that as well. I have linked a bank account to my Google Access. And make sure when you're receiving this, you have to actually put a um the address you have to put has to like be linked to a post office because that i didn't know that as well because first of all the address i put then was my own address until someone told me so i had to use a, a different address i had a post box you know p.o box right that's what's called <laughs> anyways that's what i had to do in order to get this check and when i got this check that day i mean this this thing i was I couldn't contain myself like someone brought it to me at work and i was like smiling and he was like oh my god you look like a girl a little girl that they just got a barbie doll for and i'm like you have no idea this is my barbie doll i'm happy this was long coming so i was delayed because i did not know this certain thing so i'm going to go through it again for you guys so when you get you reach that thing where you're when you reach the um the, the criteria of being monetized all you have to do is go to your youtube studio you're going to see monetization you click you apply for it you know are you eligible they tell you right now if you're not eligible go back to your videos and check if you put any if there are any restrictions on any of your videos because if your video is copyrighted you are not going to be able to monetize from that video and it just makes you like start from phase one again or whatsoever yes so that one you have to sort that one out then also but most people basically i heard open a google adsense account long before even getting monetized i heard you can do that you understand so i think you can actually do that yes so another thing i wanted to clarify someone asked me some days ago that she noticed that from her youtube back in her estimated revenue decreases but i don't know if she has checked her revenue on google access um i don't really know much about it but what i've been able to understand about this estimated revenue and your back end of youtube is that it's like the more you shoot a video the more you upload videos rather and the more views you get that revenue tends to build up now hold on the revenue you see in your on your back end of your YouTube is different from what you see on your AdSense account. I don't know if a lot of you have noticed it. They are different. Do you understand? YouTube is just giving you an estimated revenue. It's just like, for example, the more you do, the more you get. What am I trying to say? It's like the more I upload interesting, engaging videos and people watch it, the revenue gets high. But if you slack, like some people, if you notice you're slacking, if you if you've noticed fellow YouTubers, if you're if you've slacked for like a week, you've not posted content, maybe you posted content and it was not that engaging, your estimated revenue will go down a bit. You understand then when you also go to your adsense your google adsense back back and the um, back end they're going to tell you that you did not make any money today maybe in this month you already made so and so so most times you have to that is why you see most youtubers always pushing every day sometimes no it's not not be like say we want to be making content every day because i mean who doesn't want to rest but the moment you just slack a bit 
YouTube has the way of has Genesis just has this way of doing things. I don't even know what's going wrong with them. Like, square square. I don't know. They have this way of doing their thing. They'll just not even they'll just your money will just be reducing like that. So I think that is something I have noticed because I, I noticed that happened to me. Then I was like, ah, are you serious? And that when that was when I now made one video and the video did but that was the um airports being open and my revenue went high. Then I was like, ah, so this is the trick. So now I know the trick. So you have to really try and push yourself, you know. I'm pushing myself, I should be a motivation to you. I mean I I, I work from like from like seven thirty to like I don't know, seven eight <laughs> or later seven thirty eight or earliest six thirty I close and it's not easy so I should be able to push on to you so you to get out there and create content what is your excuse for not creating content go and create content so basically and I know the question you people want to hear how much I made on YouTube okay I would not give you guys the exact answer but I'll say my first YouTube check I made between 200 to 300 dollars my first youtube check i'm not going to tell you the precise thing but that was how much i made on my first youtube check. and mind you i just have 4200 so almost 4300 subscribers and yeah i don't even know what my watch time is right now and i was able to make this my first paycheck yes so i have to verify this when i get to work and that's how much i made between 200 to 300 <clears throat> dollars so that was how much i made on youtube first week check which is quite exciting and i tell myself that ah, if i could make this with such a small amount of, of subscribers i was even asking myself like, like how much does would maya make if i'm making this like i ah, would maya come and give me money <laughs> kidding but anyways just keep pushing keeping yourself any super out there if you're struggling with anything i don't know if there's anything i left out or anything i misquoted or did not say right any youtuber watching this video please do um correct me you know I'm not perfect but anyways yeah guys uh i'm so excited like i'm just this is like this is, i'm so excited we've come a long way waiting for this to come but anyways this was not really this is this should not be your reason to start a youtube channel start a youtube channel because you really want to like motivation like passion like i'm passionate about it that's why i'm sitting down here risking getting quaved for coming late to work because i want to give you guys good content because i love doing this so anyways guys uh till we meet again do not forget my name is tiffany Oweka. please guys share this video with as much people as you can people that you know that might need this video in one way or the other do not forget to like share and subscribe please and tell your friends to tell the friend to tell another friend tell their family members to subscribe to this youtube channel thank you so much bye <laughs>